How Operation Python Dance Killed My Husband, Slain IPOB Members Wife The Wife of a Member of the Indigenous People of Biafra, IPOB, Mrs. Chizaba Agbai C, Whose Husband, Mrs. Ifechuku Agbai C, was killed last year by soldiers during the Operation Python Dance 2, has stated that her husband would have been alive if he listened to her advice on that fateful day. Mrs. Agbai C, a mother of three children, revealed that she quarreled with her husband regularly over his passion for IPOB and their strife for the attainment of Biafra Republic, adding that when he died, she knew that he has been consumed by his passion. The young widow, who was at the 10th anniversary of the establishment of an initia based rights groups, International Society for Civil Liberties and Rule of Law, into society, told our correspondent that, on the day of her husband's death, she had warned him about his passion for Biafra, but he rebuked her, and the subject almost caused a family feud between them. She narrated, I was in my shop in Abba on that fateful day when I received a call from an unknown person, asking me to come to Isiala and Guar in Arbia State and identify a corpse which may be my husband's own. We had left the house on that day, and while my husband went to his shop at the shoe section of Powerline at Ariaria, and the children went to school and I to my shop. But not long after, my husband called me and said he was heading to Amuahia, that the leader, Namdi Kanu had summoned them to Amuahia. I prayed for him and told him God would lead him, but after about an hour, he called again and told me there was trouble, and that he may not return the same day, and that I should go and pick up the children from school, and I agreed. She added that she did not know it would be the last time she would see her husband, but when she received a call asking her to come and identify her husband, she knew the unthinkable had happened. When I got to the hospital, I was just told that a soldier brought his corpse to the morgue and asked the attendant to deposit the corpse there and also gave him his, my husband's, phone, asking him to contact his relatives, then added that my husband was a great man, before leaving, she said up. Till date, she was still not aware of the circumstances that led to her husband's death, but it still remained a puzzle to her that a soldier could take the corpse to the mortuary, when they, soldiers, were known to simply dump or even confiscate the bodies of their victims during the Operation Python Dance. The widow said she has been struggling hard to meet family needs since the death of her husband on 12 September 2017, with her three children aged 12, 10 and 7 years old respectively. Mr. Emeka Rumek Balazi, chairman of Inter Society, explained that he invited the widow to stand as a representative of victims of crime against humanity and war crimes, to whom the organization dedicated its 10th anniversary.